Good day, Executioners. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube video because I kind of stopped playing League of Legends. It's a long story that I'll get into in a different video. Today's video is going to be about Path of Exile and testing out people's rags to riches and things like that. The main concept that we're going on about here is we decided to test out the difference between a Biscos in maps and a, if we go into our little stash here, uh, 100%, uh, I don't remember where I put this. Yeah, under lore. And a quant amulet. Now, we've only tested a 6% quant amulet. We have not tested a 10% because we just didn't want to spend five exalts on a 10% quant amulet, but we spent up to almost four exalts on getting Sorry, the Biscos. So we will probably wind up spending the five exalts on getting a 10% quant and testing the same thing that we tested yesterday, which I was too tired to really film the video to fully break it down. But basically we took and ran 84, or no, 82 volcanoes. Now we didn't do anything special to the volcano maps. The only thing we did was remove Ellie Reflect because it'll kill me and I just don't want to die again. Now I've been testing this on softcore because I can't play hardcore. I can't. I die too many times to play hardcore. Besides the point. The fact of the matter is we are running a six link Queen of the Forest, a five link on Wind Ripper. Our barrage setup is in here, and our tornado shot is in here. Now, yesterday when we started, we started out a new page. This in here is all the currency that we made after we spent the 82 alteration or alchemies, alterations, alchemies to roll the maps. So all in all, to start the process, we had to farm up some volcanoes, which if you set up your atlas the right way, running any map in a sense that is like maybe just buy five of them and you'll just you'll self-sustain from there so originally when i reshaped my atlas to have tier fives and burial chambers shaped which is why you'll see there's a lot of stuff that's just unshaped right now i have burial that's why my atlas completion is only 83 don't worry about that because that doesn't matter unless you're trying to do higher shaped if you're only trying to just run flat volcanoes, don't worry about this. The, go go watch Marty Poe or anybody else's guide on atlases. Basically, I'll give you the quick rundown of it. Basically, you run all your tier ones, twos, and threes, and only run volcano tier four. Do not run any tier fives or fours other than this, and you have to shape sulfur vents. So you have to get up to at least being able to shape sulfur vents to ten. That way you don't get any sulfur vent drops while running the volcano. Now, that's going on the point. Basically, we're going to break down what we've made currency-wise just doing this. Now, as you can see, 346 chaos, 134 alchemy. So we made back our alchemies in the, in the couple chaos we spent to reroll the, the maps that were Ellie Reflect. We did get we didn't get an exalt drop, but we sold something that was an X, 1.8 X's, so it was pretty sweet. We're basically we we got two combs hearts in the day, and we made you know pretty much 500 chaos just from the combs hearts. Now this here, the ring world's two point arrow quiver, we actually got because. We got really lucky, really lucky getting that. Uh, we were using a Harry's Demise, which is what I recommend you use up till you get a Ringworld's Quill, and that's pretty much every, if you go and you look at anybody's uh, Tornado Shot Magic Finder, this is what they'll tell you to use before you get this, or a good rare item that has some stats on it for you to get there. I'm not going to go over passive trees or the full build or anything like that because this is done by so many other people and it's on there. If people request it enough, I will go ahead and cover all that stuff. But 
It's it's covered by Marty Poe. It's covered by Ectors. It's covered by seventy different people on Poe or pathofexile.com slash forms. So don't have to worry about it. Now this is my burial chambers build up that I'm not running right now. We're gonna go back over here. We'll show you like we had eighty two uh, volcanoes to start. Now we've almost got a full tab full. I should throw this in a quad tab, but I hate quad tabs with a passion. Like they're the, the worst thing for me in this game because I already have a hard enough time clicking small things, but that's besides the point. But basically, yes, this is what we're working. Nope, not that one. This is the one we're working with right now. And if I bring up currency cop, which breaks down everything that I'm tracking for just what we made yesterday, there's no extra things in here we're not looking you'll as you see we're not seeing essences or anything like that we're only looking at cards my cell tab and currency so that's the only three tabs we're looking at and yesterday after running 82 of them if we sell everything that we have we'd be at 1200 chaos so 82 maps have done long paid for themselves when i started this build i started out with a storm cloud and a that I four linked just to have these four links. I really didn't have anything. I had to like slowly buy, and I I started out with a very cheap Sidious Touch, which was like one alchemy. So like getting started in this, yes, the venters get expensive. I mean, overall, I probably have forty X's into this build. But when you break down X Exalt Orbs, right now they're one hundred and two. And if you look at my like other tab that I'm actually tracking everything in, whether it sells or not, we're sitting on 2,300 chaos. Now this is not ta tracking the currency tab here. If I were to add the currency tab in here, this would go up, but that's besides the point. We're not really trying to go too much into it. This is based off of just this tab and this tab. These are the only two tabs it's checking four things and as I said like this this is not the amount of her mass cards we got we we traded them in because we wanted to get more fragments as you can see I've got a toll breach and other things that I can look at but that's we did get like 10 of these while running it doesn't really make a difference the main factor is is we have in a eight hour uh, probably actually more like 10 hour 10 hour session of going because I did have to stop my stream, go take a shower, and then come back and like clip like a whole bunch of things. So I'm sending the gamer for life. Let's hope he takes at least one of them so I can kind of look cool. I want to be like the cool kids, you know. Besides the point, don't we're not going any any more details on it. But this is only, of course, we've been using the wisdoms that we put in here. We're not like stockpiling massive amounts of wisdoms. But basically, yeah, we we farmed up probably 82 volcanoes that's also doing temples do not forget to do temples because that's where i got this there's actually a clip of it let me see if i can bring that up i'm gonna vape real quick while this loads one second yeah here we go Okay. There's no sound, so we can just do this. Yeah, sorry for the quality on it. Oh, I didn't shrink this down enough. Yeah, here's it here, like off of an heirloom this. Holy shit. Yeah, that was my reaction. <laughs> that was my reaction to that yesterday. And here's all the clips that I had gotten that I had set up last night. Um, but that was pretty much my night. It's like getting this, as you can see, if I were to just turn around and sell this. Oh, I don't have, what's it called up? Hold on a second. Oh, da, 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 da. 
Turn them on the trade macro. This item here is somewhere between 11 and 13 exalts. Come on, Windows. Okay. Oh. I'm oh, sorry, between 12 and 14 exalts is where it's going. Pretty sweet, I like it. It's a nice little addition to things. I still don't know why it's more important than the Harry's Bite because the Harry's Bite does more damage. Flat, but there's something about this that makes it better, I don't know. Maybe it's corrupted that makes it better, maybe it's not, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video there. I don't wanna go very, very long on this. I've already gone longer than I kinda wanted to on covering it, but the next thing will be is we're gonna spend four exalts. We're gonna buy a 10% quantity amulet that's shaped run that and then we're gonna go run 82 volcanoes and all we're gonna do is alk and go we're not gonna sextant we're not gonna vol we're not gonna do fragments we're not gonna do anything crazy to make them have higher value we're gonna do this basically like if you just wanted to just alchemy bunch of maps grab and go and just keep running that's what i did i slammed my face into it enough times and we made 1200 chaos plus this exalt drop or this uh 12 exalt drop here so we're talking we made enough currency yesterday to really make a difference anyway i'm sorry that i don't stare at the camera perfectly it's like it's very hard for me to focus like that but besides the point i'll get better at it i promise and stay tuned like subscribe or subscribe to the channel for the next video that'll be out in a couple of days hopefully i'll be able to run it in the next couple of days i do work a nine to five job so i don't have enough a whole lot of time to run 10 hours each time so it'll probably be like two five-hour sessions that I get it done in. But anyway, again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And see you next time, Executioner.